President Trump right now at the center of a heated debate over whether or not his words helped fuel the mosque attacks that went down in New Zealand. Now, the White House is aggressively denying those claims after that shooting suspect called the president a symbol of renewed white identity and common purpose in an anti-immigrant manifesto. But in this same document, he said he disagreed with the president's policies. As we've reported, 50 people were killed when the suspect targeted two mosques in Christchurch. Police say he acted alone, but may have had support. President Donald Trump is now fighting back against those claims that his words may have emboldened that suspect to carry out the attack. He shared this tweet saying, in part, the fake news media is working overtime to blame me for the horrible attack in New Zealand. They'll have to work very hard to prove that one so ridiculous. And now the idea is creating tension in Washington, D.C. His language, his actions, his words, his policy positions, his dog whistling has electrified uh, those groups. And that's just, that's absurd. Donald Trump is no more to blame for what happened in New Zealand than, than Mark Zuckerberg is because he invented Facebook. Now, on Friday, the president denied the possibility of a worldwide threat from white nationalists, but the FBI and Anti-Defamation League are tonight reporting an increase in attacks involving group members.